Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Buckshot Roulette. This is an indie horror game uh, that you can buy for about a dollar on itch.io, and uh, I've seen a lot of my friends play it on YouTube. I'm a little behind on indie horror stuff, but I'm catching up now, and I decided to check it out. I think, just from what little I've seen, and I've only seen thumbnails and red titles, uh, it looks like it's kind of similar to the Resident Evil 7 DLC 21. Uh, in that you're kind of being forced to play a sadistic game by somebody who's holding you hostage and there are high stakes, high risk. Uh, you're playing around with your life. I'm guessing that that's kind of the vibe that they're going for, which, you know, I think it's fair to say in that case that it was inspired by the Resident Evil 7 DLC, which I think is one of the best DLCs I've ever played. If you've never played uh, 21 on Resident Evil 7, it's amazing. Uh, let's take a look at the options real quick. Um, this is my second channel where I never edit anything, so I hope there's not a lot of trial and error. Actually, I should have checked to see if I've, I've recognized this developer, because I've played a lot of indie horror stuff. Um, I may have played a game that they've made before and just not been aware of it. Oh, it's... I'm already in. What the hell? Yeah. Please sign the waiver. God, it's like, okay, papers, please. Sure. Very stylized so far. I like that. I like games that are really stylized. John? Is that okay? Can I say that? Dealer. Okay. One live round, two blanks. I insert the shells in an unknown order. <laughs> Shotgun. Shooting yourself with a blank skips the dealer's turn. Wait, what? Oh! Okay, so there's... Okay. Wait, what? I don't understand. So, dealer's turn, I guess. So wait, so there's a live round and a blank in this one. Okay, so now they shoot themselves with it, and then if it's a live round, then they lose, and if it's a blank round, then I lose. Oh no! That means I die. <laughs> oh, we got revived! Oh, we have lives! Careful now. Wow. Three live rounds, two blanks. They enter the chamber in a hidden sequence. So you've decided the sequence. So you're trying to predict. I'm gonna go with me first. Okay, so we've got three live rounds, two blanks. So, I mean, at this point, we gotta give it to the dealer, right? The odds are in our favor, 75%. Oh, we got him. We got him that time. Okay, it's tied. It's tied up. Oh, now he's mad. Look at him. No! So he decides. You're lucky it left you with a charge. Get up, John. The night is young. Afraid? So by the way, you just click to move around, but I don't think you can click on anything except the door. So... Nothing to get you ready for, a little... Buckshot Roulette! Like some club music, let's go! I like how this guy's just smoking a cigarette while people are shooting each other in this room. Very cool, welcome back. Wait, what are you- oh, I came back. Okay, we gotta beat this guy. I mean, it's all random, right? It's it's a different sequence, right? It's a random sequence? Or is it the same sequence every time? Because last time we did this, it was blank, blank, live. So then... I'm just gonna start with me. No, it's different. Okay, that answers my question. 
careful now. This is like it's kind of like a Monty Hall problem sort of logic here, and 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 what what you should do, you know? Because with each shot you get more information. Okay, so they choose to shoot themselves. They got a blank. They got two blanks. Well, then I I'm I'm screwed, right? Oh wait, no. Oh, they just emptied the two blanks after I shot myself. Okay. So, because cause I lost the point, so it's still my turn. Okay, so right now, I have the most likelihood that I'm going to get a blank. So I think you should always choose yourself first. But, you know, I mean, it's ultimately random. Damn! The night is young. Because you think about it, like, the highest likelihood that you're going to get a blank is at the very beginning, when there's the most potential blanks in the gun. And then with each shot, you reveal a new blank, and then the likelihood goes up for a live round, and so then that's when you aim it at the dealer. But, you know, you could just, it's just luck, right? That's just the, if you're trying to make an informed decision, that's the only way to do it. So like, one live, two blank. So right now we've got a two out of three chance that aiming at ourselves is okay. But like, if we aimed at the dealer and we got a blank, then it'd be 50-50. So we gotta start with us. Damn! But we know that it's a different, it's a different sequence every time. Because that, because the first time I did it, it was two blanks and then one live round at the end. I'm guessing the first time you aim it at the other person, then it's their turn. So like right now, I should aim it at myself. God damn, is it the same sequence? Okay, this time we'll aim it at the dealer first, I guess. I just thought... That's very strange that it was the first one four times in a row. Kind of anticlimactic. Welcome back, yes. I'm gonna beat you. One live round, two blanks. Okay, I'm gonna shoot him this time. That's some bullshit. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my logic before. I just wanted to see. Okay, so this time I'm gonna aim it at myself. Oh, well, I'm gonna aim it at myself anyway because we're just, we're getting rid of the blank one. Yeah. Okay, now he's gonna load it in. Okay. Don't be alive, round, please. You are, you bastard! That's three straight times in the second round when a live round is the first one, but like. Okay. I mean, I'm guessing it's truly random and not that the deck is like stacked against me. Because I, I won the first one in the, in the very first uh, round that I played, didn't I? Oh no. I shot them one time though, so... Banana cream Olipop, by the way, not sponsored. Okay, it's, I mean, I'm gonna keep doing this. Don't. Why? But last time I aimed at him, 
I think it's just bad luck. I think I'm just having a run of bad luck. There's no other way to explain this. Because it is random. Okay. Well, I mean... It, they're both blanks. I don't see we got, why we gotta go through the motions here with this rigmarole, dude. Okay. Okay, I think this time, yeah, we're going for you. Yes! Okay, now what? Oh, he's pissed now. <gasps> yes! Okay, that's one round, but that's not it, right? John wins! For now. Now it's time to for round two. Let's make this a little more interesting. Ooh. Two items each. More items before every load. What do you mean? What? What is this? Handcuffs. What am I doing with these? One live round, one blank. Okay. Well, this is just a 50-50 shot. Okay, so if I use the handcuffs, the dealer skips the next turn. This is great. What does your item do? Tell me what your item does. Cigarette pack, takes the edge off, regain one charge. Screw it. I mean, this is just literally a coin flip. Damn. That's one lost charge for me, because now he shoots me. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. We can make, like... We have a little more data to work with here, I'm assuming. Okay. Okay, and I guess uh, I just get random ones. What? General release of liability from God. What? What does the magnifying glass do? Two lives, two blank. Okay. Okay, what does this do? Check the current round in the chamber. Well, that seems kind of OP. Um, dealer skips the next turn. Now he's got hand, he's got two magnifying glasses. Look over there, we can see what he's got. All right, I'm gonna go sicko mode. Damn, I've got to swear every time. Is he using a magnifying glass? Very interesting. Right, because right now there's one live round and two blanks. So he knows. He just handcuffed me. So he knows it's a blank. Wait, what? Wait, what? You checked, you checked with the magnifying glass, so you knew... Well, now there's two blanks. Well, so now it doesn't matter. Yeah, well... Okay, not a great move, dealer, actually. Bro, come on, you checked. You saw that there was a live round. <laughs> Three live rounds, two blanks. Okay, see, I was saving my magnifying glasses for when it was higher than 50% likelihoods, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Was there a round? It's still like black and white, I can't tell. Shotgun deals two damage. <laughs> I'm gonna light up. Just so I'm out of the danger zone here. Okay, I'm pretty sure it had it had a round in it. What? It, it didn't? Oh, now it comes back. I thought it did. Okay, well, you know what? I razzed him for it, but then I made the same mistake. But you play this game all the time. 
I guess if it has a round with it, a round in it, it'll be really obvious. What'd that do? I swear to God, dude, you you've got to be trolling at this point. Like if the round was like bright red or something, maybe that's maybe that's what's going on. Okay, so there's been. I think they ejected a round, and I don't know what round they ejected. Let's do the magnifying glass again. See, there's a round. Okay, there's a round in that one. So... Yes, okay. Oh, he's sawing it off. But I think, I think it's mostly blanks at this point, isn't it? All right, we're okay. Careful now. Okay, we're out. All right. Thank you. What's this do? I think it just ejects the current round in the chamber. Three live rounds, three blanks. Okay, we're back to 50-50 odds. We just gotta get them one time. You rack the shotgun, ends round on last shell. Huh? It's not quite what I thought. Now he's got a knife so he can saw it off again. So I'm gonna use both of my cigarettes here. Cause I don't want him to just shoot me and kill me here. Um. I mean, there's no way to know. Damn. Oh, he's using the handcuffs on me. Skipping my next turn. He's sawing it off. He's going all in. Okay, so it's 3-2. So it's two live round, two blank. And we're back down. Shit. I mean, this is really just 50-50. Of course, he's going again. Yes! He did it to himself! I win. Yeah, hell yeah, I win. Hell yeah, I win. Final round. Long last, we arrived at the final showdown. No more defibrillators. No more blood transfusions. Now, me and you, we are dancing on the edge of life and death. So it's it's like instant death? Is that the idea? Four items each. Okay. I mean, the saw... The saw doesn't make any sense. I just put them all on the left side, I don't know. You know the drill. So wait, is it one live, two blank? Okay. I mean, isn't it too blank? Am I wrong? Okay, he's handcuffing me. He's just like, oh, and then he's, he's chugging to eject the blank round. He's regaining a charge. He used all four of his items. The dealer's crazy. Okay. Congrats. You like wasted them. What? You wasted your handcuffs. You wasted literally all your items just then. Four live, four blank. Okay, so this is going to be tough to keep track of. So it's four, four right now. 
Um, I've only got one magnifying glass. So that's a blank. Okay. So we're at four live, three blank now. I think... We've got a pretty good shot here. Over 50%. Let's handcuff him. Yes! Yes! Okay, so we've got three live rounds, three blanks, and it's our turn again. Three live, three blank. I mean... Yes! Okay. Three live, two blank. Yes! Oh, I'm getting lucky so far. I'm on a roll. He's regaining a charge with his cigarettes. So it's two live, two blank at this point. So it's still kind of 50-50 inside the shotgun. He's looking with the magnifying glass. He's using all of his items. Very interesting. Wow. So it's a blank. Okay. Oh my God, there's two live rounds. Or no, wait, what? Oh, he used the beer to rack the shotgun. Oh my gosh. Oh, I should have used one of my, cause now I've got out of space. How unfortunate. Yeah, I guess I should have anticipated that. Okay. Three live, two blank. Okay. Um, let's handcuff you. Handcuffs are actually really strong because then you can just aim at the dealer <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. Three live, one blank. The odds are good that this next one's live. So... Yes! So there's two live rounds, one blank round still. Unfortunately, we can't back-to-back -back handcuff him. That would have been, that would be too... Are you ready? What? What's happening? Oh, he hid his charges? We don't see, so he's got three charges though. Very interesting. So he knows what the next uh, shell is. He's sawing it off. That's fine, dude. Damn. So there's one live and one blank still in the gun. Just in case. So he's down to two charges, even though we can't see it. Wait, what? Or is it sudden death? It was sudden death? Oh, I won? Oh! I got tons of money! It's all about the Ulysses S. Grants, baby! <laughs> Doesn't quite roll off the tongue like it's all about the Benjamins. Yeah, we won all that money. 
congratulations, John. 59000 dollars Wow! I didn't even drink any beer. Whoa, that was fun. I mean I knew it would be fun. But yeah, that was great. Um it really did have Resident Evil 7 21 vibes. Yeah, if you if you liked this, you definitely owe it to yourself to play that game. It's basically it's like this. Um, it's a lot like this, actually. I remember after that uh, DLC came out, I think I saw somebody try to make a similar game where it was like a it was like a more complicated card game. I can't remember what it was called. I remember I played it one time. I think it was like co-op, so or you could load in with a friend and you could play against each other. But it was kind of jank. It wasn't like the best execution. But this is really cool. Um, I don't really know if there are plans to make this into like a longer game. I know that there's a, I think you can wishlist this game on Steam. So I'm assuming that they're going to be building out maybe a more expanded version of it. Um, I think it's great the little items that you have. This is like, this is really cool. I'm glad that somebody did something with the idea, kind of enhanced it in some ways. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I love I love playing 21 and Resident Evil 7, um, but after a while, you do kind of solve it. Uh, once you get enough upgrades and you get enough OP cards and stuff, you can kind of cheat like the AI does, and you can, you know, uh, kind of just start blazing through them. But with this, I feel like there was an added element of, like, you really don't know what's in the chamber, unless you have the magnifying glass. You really don't know. It could be a live round, it could be a blank round, and you can make odds in your head of like, well, it's uh, two-thirds odds that it's a live round, or, you know, it's a 50-50 shot, but you don't really know. It's it's random. It's kind of it's kind of like the Monty Hall problem uh, in a horror video game, so kind of cool. I, I, I liked that added twist to it, um, where like, even if you are uh, counting cards, so to speak, you really don't know until you fire the gun. So that was fun. And I liked the little uh, dealer antagonist. Um, I liked how his appearance changed after the first round. Um, I liked the added chaos elements of like, you know, I'm going to hide how many charges I have or now it's sudden death, right? Um, I thought that was really cool. Um, I, th I do think if there's one criticism I have, it's that the dealer AI was like, like made some nonsensical moves sometimes like like that that time when he like used the magnifying glass on the gun he was like oh oh i see and then he like shot himself i was like you knew that there was a live round in there um but hey you know we don't want the dealer to be uh you know crazy efficient always making the right call but at the same time maybe the a the ai should avoid making uh obviously incorrect calls you know so that, that's like, I think that's like the one criticism I would have. And the other criticism is that it's too short. There's not enough. I want to play more. I want to play more rounds of this against more opponents, uh, against various enemies with different personalities and uh, different items. And I want to be able to uh, unlock new items and upgrade items and all that. I, uh, you know, I just, I'm really itching for like an expanded version of this now. Really neat. So yeah, I understand why it got so popular and why so many people played it. Nice short experience too. Um... You know, I, I, I love the, the I, I kind of think of this as like a teaser for for the game a bit, like kind of like a demo, except uh, I, like I said, I had to pay like a dollar for it, but it was worth a dollar. So I like that. Um, yeah. Let me know what you thought about Buckshot Roulette in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.